And though we do have a gorgeous morning ahead mm -hmm. for us tomorrow, you know, it, it, over the weekend, Marcus, I think all of us were complaining about just <laughs> how hot it was outside. August is typically the <laughs> hottest month of the year, especially oh, for East yeah. Texas. Yes, yeah. that is true. And the peak of those temperatures really going up for us, especially when we talk about triple digits. Let me show you what we had last year for Tyler. The hottest day last year was 101. That was broken easily going towards Sunday at 104. It was 102 on Sunday in Longview. Last year, the hottest temperature was 103. 100 in Lufkin last year was the highest temperature, but this year easily broken at 103. Very hot temperatures over the weekend, and yes, it can get even hotter on the inside of the car as we heard there from Katie's story. Even with temperatures this afternoon in the lower 90s and the upper 80s, just because all that heat gets trapped in when there's no air flowing inside the car, it can still be even hotter, but this was a very very nice day today compared to what we dealt with over the weekend and this type of weather is expected to continue for at least a couple of more days outside right now skies are clear we're about to move in the 60s here shortly it's 70 in Mineola 74 Jacksonville Hemphill is at 80 right now Gilmer at 75 Athens at a temperature of 73 we are still on track to go into the lower in the mid 60s first thing tomorrow morning you might want to have a light jacket to begin the day. Our coolest numbers off to the northeast, lower to mid 60s there. The rest of us will probably be in the mid 60s as we begin the day. 63 Palestine, Lufkin 65, Hempel at about 67. A cooler 61 in Jefferson should be a fantastic start for us. Looking ahead to your Thursday, the bus stop forecast, a great morning, a very warm afternoon, but also low humidity still remaining great. 91 for that top temperature. Okay, a quick update on what we're seeing in the tropics. We just told you about a new system now tropical depression number 13 that is working its way through the southern Gulf right now. It's starting to get a little bit more organized. It's still about a thousand miles or so away from the Windward Islands and not too far from Barbados. Current conditions on this storm has it moving to the west northwest at 20. Here's the forecast track expected to become a tropical storm. Tropical storm Laura as we head toward tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. Notice the motion here where it is headed to near the Haiti area, Dominican Republic and on track to perhaps move toward Florida as a strong in tropical tropical storm, maybe even a category one as we get toward late Sunday into Monday. Right now, the majority of the weekend for the United States should be OK. That's a storm system that we will have to keep an eye on very closely. We do have some small rain chances next week from another system in the Caribbean. We'll monitor that. But in the meantime, the weather is superb. Highs in the low 90s and the overnight lows these next few days into the 60s. Looking forward to it, Marcus. Thank you.